Adobe has been very busy lately with releasing new AI tools like the Generative Fill for Photoshop, for example. And Premiere didn't get left alone. They added two new AI features, which I quickly want to show you in this video. The last one changed my editing workflow forever. Here we are in the beta version of Adobe Premiere Pro. You can get access to it in your Creative Cloud app. And to showcase the first new feature, I recorded this video here. So here I am outside and want to do a quick recording. Um, but like you can hear, the audio quality really sucks as I just have my phone with me. So let's see if we can fix that. So like you can hear, the audio really needs some improvement. And to do it, just select your video, then head up here to workspaces and select audio. And just give it a dialog tag. And then here at the top is the new enhanced speech option. Just click on enhance. And after it's done analyzing, you can use the mix amount slider to give it more or less strength. Really try to find a good value with the slider, because if you put it too high, your voice will sound like an AI voice. And if you put it too low, then your audio quality will still be trash. So you need to find a good balance. In my case, 6.5 worked the best. So yeah, um, let's just take a listen. So here I am outside and want to do a quick recording. Um, but like you can hear, the audio quality really sucks as I just have my phone with me. So let's see if we can fix that. So I think this sounds a lot better than before. Of course, it does replace a professional mic, but if you didn't have one with you, uh, you can just use this new feature to improve the audio that you recorded. The second feature really changed the way how I edit long videos, as it can just analyze your video and give you a transcript of everything you said. And now you can just edit your transcript like a Word file and all the changes you made will be applied to the video as well. To use this feature, just head up to Edit, Preferences, and then select Transcription. Here you can choose if you automatically want to transcribe every clip you imported and also your default language. Next, just select your clip and head up to the text-based editing workspace. Select Transcript and transcribe your clip. And now we get this transcript here on the side and we can just click on a specific word and then the playhead automatically jumps to that position. So here we can see that I always try to say the same sentence. And here's the last time I said it, so this must be the correct take. Um, just click on it and then you can delete everything you said before. You can also search for specific words, which can be especially helpful if you have this hour long video and only want to find that one sentence. All of this is in the novel version of Premiere, so you can already use it in your current project. One thing that's new to the beta version though, is that you can now go up here and filter by pauses and then all of the pauses will be highlighted and you can just go here and delete all of them. Normally an editor would spend multiple hours doing this to make a YouTube video shorter, but now you can simply do it with a click of a button. So all of this can really improve your workflow, but I still have one bonus tip for you, because you can also use this transcript to create captions for your video. To do this, just go up here to captions and select create captions from transcript, then change the settings however you want and finally click on create captions. There you go, your video now has captions. You can of course also highlight them all, change the position, font and everything you want. Now, these are the new Premiere features, but did you know that Adobe just released the biggest After Effects update in years, which will change the way we use the program forever? In this video, I show you exactly what this feature is and how you can use it.